There's so much money floating around in college football, Steve. Should the players be paid? I'm one of those that's very much against paying players. I don't think it's right. And we have done a very poor job of quantifying what a college education means. And if you go to college, play sports, and for four years, uh, you get a college degree, and what does that mean? Go pay for that. You're leaving without any debt. And um, just check around the country and see what, is, what a severe thing that is. What are your thoughts on this off the field issue of the treatment of women, which is gaining in the headlines, and of course college football now is there, Florida State and Baylor? The best we can do is to have absolutely no tolerance for any of it. Say that right up front. Make it real clear that if you do this, these are the circumstances. You're not going to sit around here and give you a two-year trial for this. If this is proved, this is what you did, you're gone. We're, we can't have any tolerance on it. Playoff, playoff, playoff. Everyone wanted a playoff. Now they got a playoff. They love the playoff. Is this the right format for this? Four teams? Uh, do you see eight teams? It, does it become like an NCAA men's basketball tournament eventually? Where do we go from here on the playoff? I think last year was marvelously successful. Uh, There's a lot more money going into the system. The worst thing that could happen would be if, the, if what has happened in basketball, um, I believe, is that the postseason is so big and it's that marquee element that people see about basketball that it's wrecked in-season basketball. And I still think regular season football is a very special thing. And I'd hate to see any deterioration of uh, any pattern there that would take away from that, where people would say, hey, I can just wait to the end of the year because I like the playoff. And that's the downside, in my opinion, having a playoff system that's, that's just way too big.